look at my torso and my arm. You're, you're here, then your arm and the torso, they are still moving together. But can you see they don't move together? The, you watch carefully. It looks like I'm, my torso is moving. It's only the fabric, the, the shirt. My body actually does not move. Yours is, you are still doing this. So my, my eyes are on my hand, and then I can allow rotation. My torso is rotating. You still have this. Can you guys see? Can you see that I actually, is called rotation, change without changing. My, my power is still here, but my body is going backward. Simon and everybody else, can you see that? I'm only doing the first half. So you all have a tendency here, 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 and here. They all move. Can you see that? But now, there is no movement. The line is still here. I'm totally fixed on there. I'm just moving my body back. You, this is, first is here and here. On the second move, you look at the rear shoulder, Chandra, you went like this a little bit. It's only here going like that, only here going like that. Is this clear? So can you see that? If the quad does not move, it becomes like this. You got that turn and fairly big. On the way out, this is too small. So if I put my hand here, you look at this hand on the way. When this is moving, look at this one here. It has to drop, 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 drop. It's actually quite big. Going back a little bit, more so vertically going down so that you indent your chest. When you do this here, it's not like this. So, so this is also part of the Wu Dian Wai Zheng, the five points fighting outwards, everything else fight inward. So in this case, the two shoulders are outside, the head is outside, they must remain outside while the inside of the chest hollow and move like this here. Otherwise, it's, can you, understand, can you see this now? So the quad here, once, once it's here, Raymond, you are a little bit of like this here. Can you see the difference? You are here. We need your quad to be, can you see when I do it, you see where my quad is? My front quad is here. Yours is still here. You still have that, that here. When the quad is here, you see this here, this connection here, the power goes to the front, the heel will go that far. You can see it actually goes like that. Otherwise, you're still here. And you're more like this. Can you see the quad is left behind? We want it to be here. So as soon as we make a move, we want the quad to be out there. Can you see it never drops? It's not here. Your shoulder should, can you see it stays there? But your shoulder went a little bit like this. When, when, like, when like a little bit of move like this here, you lost all the coiled power. So the power that, can you see this coiling? Created power tension. When you do this, it's lost. It stays here, and then only stretch the hand against the chest. The shoulder does not get involved. If you have the slightest move, it's lost. This line here has to move up and down, but not like this. It's like, when I go like this here, this, this dantian shoots up with no physical move here. On the way out, this line here shoots down. Up, down. It's all within this tube. It's like, like this here. It's, this is the tube. This is the, this is the line here. It goes up, up and down. It's not like this. It's like this here. So you look at this line here. Mark, see this here? Pushes up. And that's the raise of the quad. Otherwise, it's just like this. And then on the way there, on the way out, this one pushes down. I want you to 
create a lot of movement here. Right now, your movement is still here. You still this move here. When you move move here, still synchronized here. You still have this synchronization. It's I want the move to be here. Move the inside. Savastino is the same thing. You are doing this. And your back is fine, it did not move. But your range of motion here is too small. I want this here, if I don't touch anything here, can you see the shoulder, front shoulder start moving and start turning, turning, turning until it goes like this. We always have this here, here. And Raoul and uh, also Lou, this place, you are very big. I don't have a big chest like that. You have this here, it moves like this here. This has to stop. It's only here. You want this to go like this. Okay. Like that. So I'm looking at the camera here. This is tossing. But see, whatever I do, I'm on the camera. So now you do, let's say, 10 in a set like this. Get ready, and one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight, nine, ten. Now on the side you see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. When you are touching people, it's already there. Instead of getting ready and all sorts of movement. Yin, the power is here, not here. So if on the way in, can you see the outside is being pulled along this line? If the outside has a move, that's wrong. So yin here, on the way out, the outside is pulling. The outside is leading here. So if I stand like this here, and this is, my hand is invisible, okay? So on the way in, it's this way. This is on the way in. So this hand is invisible. On the way out, it's this way. And uh, if you are able to switch the orientation of the two moves, that's called a daoshao. Means to change the direction of your hand. It's this way. The power is on the elbow, pulling here. On the way out, now you get ready. That use your other hand to grab it. You pull it out. In, out, in, out, in, then gradually pull the finger and pull the, this little dot here, pull that in, and then pull the finger. Today's job is to drive this, one, this line out. And now you realize when you drive this line, your body virtually, when you understand it, the body does not move. This is considered moving. And uh, uh, I think it was, was it Edward? Your hand here, watch my hand, Edward. From here, you started doing this. But watch my hand. If you look carefully, my hand actually never did this. The reason we did that is that the front shoulder to quad is the first vertical axis. Once you have this one trained out, now that's the basis for six ceiling for closing. Later on, when you want a 50-50 neutralization, that line is here. So this, li this line in the front is very difficult. The one in the middle is even more difficult. Right now, when you move the middle line, you rotate the middle line, you are just uh, doing this, or you are just doing this. You're not doing it. When you actually do it, it's the body separates from the middle, front and back. And uh, that's very difficult. Then later on, your line is here. That's why it looks like this. So I'll give you a larger picture. And that's, again, why I have modified the form. The six ceiling for closing, the second one. First one, second one is actually here. 
Can you see that posture? In our system, everybody does it like this, okay? Every, everybody does it like this. It's not like that. It's from here, first one. Second one gradually goes to the middle, and then you start rotating on the rear one. Once you rotate on the rear one, it looks like you went back, but you, you don't.